we are trying, as I say, to put together objects that uh, tackle the problem of geography not only from a mapping perspective, but we are trying to give an overarching overview of uh, what geography really meant in antiquity mm -hmm. and the different aspect of it and the way it impacted society on different levels. The way in which geography permeated uh, the life of the individuals both on a social, on a religious and on a cultural point of view. So we are uh, walking the visitors from the universe, so from the way in which Roman and Greeks understood their universe, mm -hmm. down to their earth, so the earth as a globe, uh, down to the region where actually Romans and Greek lived. Mm -hmm. The objects that we have on display are actually uh, Renaissance manuscripts. Of course, there are uh, no uh, ancient map of the Greek and Roman period that survive antiquity. And that's the reason why the visitors will mainly see maps that were made specifically in the Renaissance, where there is this huge revival of ancient geography. We are trying uh, to show geography not only as maps, but also as objects that are implying the viewer had uh, a geographic knowledge. This is the uh, front page of our website for the exhibition. It's available here in the galleries on uh, several IMAX, but it's also freely available on the web through the ISAW website. The online section takes you to the digital components of the exhibition, and this is the section that we'll be adding to periodically as the exhibition goes along. Uh, one of the projects we're showcasing is a joint project between ISAW and the Ancient World Mapping Center at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill called Pleiades. And um, what Pleiades does is it catalogs now nearly 35,000 ancient places from the Greek and Roman world and also the ancient Near East. So that's the Babylonians, the Assyrians, the Egyptians. And uh, each place gets its own page with a contextual map. One of the most important things about Pleiades is actually up here in what we call the location bar in your browser. And that is a unique number that we assign to each site. And that number never changes. What that does is it sets the stage for us being, being able to bring together data from lots of different sources and link them up geographically so long as everybody is using the same social security number for the place. On the photographic front, we also have a joint effort with people who use the Flickr photo sharing website. And what they do is they tag their photographs mm -hmm. using the Pleiades identifier. And that allows us, our server goes and asks the Flickr server, hey, what have you got about number 570491? And you're right into the uh, touristic photographic material that's, that's coming out. So this is this vision of a, a connected, a geographically connected uh, dataverse, if I can use a silly word, um, that will make it easier for you to learn about things you're interested in. I think we are trying to show New Yorkers uh, the masterpieces that are actually in the city. All objects that we have in the exhibition are local, but they are objects that for the majority of the time are not visible. Uh, therefore, we are, uh, if you want, giving a new context to objects that people are maybe even familiar with, and you're trying to show in them from a different perspective. If you're talking about geography uh, in the context of a social studies curriculum, for example, and you're trying to teach students about uh, cartography and mapping, you have the opportunity to integrate that with a history curriculum. Th this method, this scientific method of mapping a three-dimensional sphere onto a two-dimensional surface um, was something that the Greeks and Romans were very engaged with. But then you come along and find compositions like this one that are completely different and they, they, they undermine the geography and they squish the whole world into a strange shape. And so then you can start to ask your students, well, why? If they knew how to do it right, what we would say is right, why are they doing things like this? You're saying something with this map. Um, and I think part of what we want to do for students in high school and college um, is to help them understand how useful maps are as a tool, but also that they can be used on you <laughs> or for you as a tool, right? Uh, to try to make you see the world a particular way or think of the world a particular way. And then, you know, as we explore historical geography um, with digital tools, how does that change how we see the world of the Greek and the Romans and, and our own world? 
So um, I, think, I think that's a, a really good question. It gets at the heart of what the exhibition is really about.